Hi friends, welcome back to Fix This House. On today's episode, we're gonna try to attempt to clean up all this moldy caulking around this shower pan right here. So stay tuned. So friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. On today's episode, we're gonna try to fix all this moldy caulking. We moved in this house six years ago. I have not done anything to this dated shower that we have here. We started accumulating this mold around this shower pan. My wife tried everything. She tried every type of cleaning solution and it just doesn't seem to go away. So my thinking is that they used, whoever caulked this, used the wrong type of caulking. Before I talk about any type of caulking, I'm gonna go and show you how I'm gonna be removing this. We're gonna try three methods and we'll see which one does the best in removing this nasty caulking around here. Now, let me show you a closer look on how it looks like. It just looks very, very disgusting right now. <laughs> Sorry, how I just gotta show you how, it, how the situation is. But from my opinion, I think that they use a non mold type caulking and a caulking that's not meant for shower or tile okay or kitchen at least i'm gonna try to prep up the pan first cover everything up and try to reduce all the cleanup work i'm gonna mask off to just right before the mold starts and all where the stains are and we're gonna go and apply another layer with the seven mil drop is to make cleanup a little bit faster and protect your shower pan as well from any other uh, damage or whatnot. If we press against this, you see that? There is water coming out of that caulk right there. Until we have taken this caulk off, we'll finally know what's going on. First of all, I'm gonna use this utility knife. Let's see if we can just score off and start scraping off this moldy caulking. Let's see what comes out of here. I'm very, very curious of what's, how this was done. See that? Just caught, pretty much just comes out. Just come out if I pull it off. This is definitely not made for the bathroom. This looks like just regular caulk. It looks like, yeah, they did put the tile over the shower pan to create that watershed effect. So uh, that's good. I don't know what's going on with this side, if that is the same concept. Maybe when I'm just pushing like that, maybe it's just the caulking pushing against the tile. That's why there's water coming out because there's water trapped between there. For this side, I'm pretty curious. Uh, I'm not sponsored by this product, but I saw this on Amazon and it has this little scraper on the end. I wonder if it's actually gonna work. Again, this is my first time using this product. It's pretty much a silicone and trowel scraper. Let's go and see if it's helpful rather than using that utility knife. Go like this. It gets it right there in the little hard to reach area. Just like that. It runs it perfect, easy. See that? Takes out that caulking. Okay, let's go forward. Well, there you go. There you go. But in my suggestion, still use your utility knife to scrape off the excess on the wall just for proper cleanup. Use this utility knife, works really well. Um, here's another helpful tool if you choose to use this. Um, this one, all these, you can even use a 10 in one to scrape this off too. So whichever tool you wanna use, it's totally up to you. All these tools I'll leave in the description down below if you're interested. Part, the scraper right here is good 
for the plastic pan metal like this utility knife or a 10 in one five in one metal to plastic it's gonna scrape it this is a plastic scraper this is great for the shower pan so it does not get damaged reduces the scratches on the shower pan See how it's moving like that now it's acceptable that there's a little bit of movement going on with your shower pan um, to a certain extent because it's supposed to be attached and screwed on to the, there's a there should be a lip on the shower pan that goes up that is screwed onto the studs some parts are not going to be screwed on given it you know there's going to be a little bit of movement when you press on it like so but me pressing against the whole line here the whole length of the pan there is not a single solid thing that was screwed onto the stud so my guessing is that none of this stuff or none of the shower pan on this side was secured to the stud at all tile right here is actually over so creating that watershed effect which is good so i'm guessing this water that's coming out is just pretty much just water that was trapped in there and the little pockets between the shower pan and the lip that's going up hopefully crossing my fingers that that didn't go all the way down you know started going to the subfloor and rotting that out I i'm not going to take my chances this is just a temporary fix i'm going to go rip this off for the future videos friends but this video is mostly just cleaning up the caulking and replacing it okay friends this doesn't look like it was secured to any of the studs so take note when i start doing my bathroom renovation video on the other bathroom i'm going to show you the proper way to do it and definitely not like this so let's go keep cleaning up and i'll show you the final product after we're done I'm just gonna go and just do a little bit of touch up, piece of scotch bright, and just clean up whatever tiny small remnants that's left from the caulking. So definitely faster cleanup if you have a drop. So here's what it looks like now after we remove the caulking and after that cleanup definitely looks a lot better way better when we clean out that caulk the right caulk to use in the bathroom is this one right here what i'm using is a kitchen and bathroom this is color white you can use clear you can choose any color that you want i'll leave the link in the description down below for this product and the tools that i use throughout this whole video as well check out those links and this is the advanced silicone 100 waterproof and it is very important that you get the flexible ones and it is mold free sealant definitely very very important to get the mold free sealant 30 minutes water ready right when you apply but i'm going to leave it for a few hours before we actually take a shower in here i have the exhaust fan running as you can hear in the background crack a window if you're doing this project right here and right when we apply it that should be it So there you have it friends that's the final result we got all the caulking in there now tip for this i use masking tape and masked off the ends then applied caulk because this is uneven it's really hard with all this tile in the way by just doing regular caulk it gets messy if you can do it without masking tape man hands down you guys are pro but this is the easiest way for you know the DIYers to do. Use the masking tape, you will get really clean straight lines after you remove it, just like that. There's no shame of using masking tape, friends. I mean, whatever works to make your job look neat and clean, there's no shame to using masking tape, okay, friends? All that mold and stuff is gone. We use the right caulking for this one, and yeah, that's how it looks looks a lot better much cleaner friends all right friends so let me know in the comment section below what you think leave a comment what technique you would have done what changes and what do you think overall if you found this video helpful please hit that big thumbs up subscribe notification bell 
and I'll see you friends on our next DIY.